Back to the nation's capital, where the First Lady joined Vice President Kashim Shatima to plant trees in the villa in commemoration of the first celebration of the Great Green Wall Day in Nigeria. The Great Green Wall is an initiative to reverse desertification, land degradation, drought, and mitigate other climate change-related challenges. Moyo Thomas has more. The Great Green Wall was launched in 2007 by the African Union to restore the land degradation and livelihoods of millions of affected people. The United Nations views Africa as one of the areas most vulnerable to land degradation and desertification, with about 45% of Africa's land area affected, and about 55% are high or very high risk of further degradation. About 35% of Nigeria's total land is affected by degradation. Nigeria, in fulfillment of African Union's mandate, established the National Agency for the Great Green Wall, especially in the 11 frontline states affected the most by this phenomenon. The initiative is being implemented across 22 African countries and has been uplifting thousands of communities across the continent. It has also brought together African countries and international partners under the leadership of the African Union Commission and the Pan-African Agency of the Great Green Wall. If these aggressive afforestation and deforestation activities are desirable at national and subnational levels, since the Pan-African Agency of the Great Green Wall has directed member countries participating in the implementation of the Great Green Wall for Sahara and Sahel Initiative to observe a dedicated day for more awareness creation, this informs the gathering here today. As we knew it has been changing, our temperatures are becoming extreme, our rivers are drying up, our wildlife has become endangered, and our forests are thinning out. We are not only at the mercy of a world with inadequate green landscapes, but we are also forced to migrate toward greener pastures. The First Lady and Vice President went on to plant trees within the Asorok Villa to demonstrate the gesture the day stands for. The Director General of the National Agency for the Great Great Wall confirmed that the agency has so far fully restored over 12,000 hectares of degraded land in the 11 most affected states. Efforts are also on to set aside the 13th July as Great Green Wall Day in the 10 Sahara and Sahel countries. Moya Thomas, TVC News.